Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Burns from Boulder Sounds. In this video I'll be showing you how to bring an EXS sampler instrument into Logic 10.5 into their relatively new plugin called Sampler. Sampler is a replacement for what was previously the main sampler plugin in Logic from Apple called the EXS24. So the library you'll be bringing in is still a .exs file. That's what sampler reads. And uh, we're gonna bring it in to Logic 10.5. I'm gonna walk you through that process. What we'll do is we'll download a Banjo library from my website. It'll be in a four part file. I'll show you how to combine it together. And then I'll show you the process of importing it into Logic so you can play it in Logic. Um, a lot of customers are baffled by how this works and it's not really crystal clear in the manual how to do it on a step-by-step -step basis, so hopefully this will help you. So right now we're at the Boulder Sounds website and you're going to log in in the upper right hand corner where it says log out. I'm already logged in, but so there you'll log in with your your email address associated with your account and your password. Okay, then we'll go to the search field up here in the upper left and let's type in banjo hit return and you can see right there at the top it says banjo bluegrass banjo exs 24 so we click on that we'll scroll down the page we'll assume we want to buy this and what you'll do next is you can see at the bottom it says there's four downloads so there's four parts to this library and we're going to combine them all into one extracted library and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first, next thing you want to do is simply add this library to your cart. That takes you to the next page. It shows you you've got the bluegrass banjo in your cart. Proceed to checkout where it says go to checkout. And here you can add a discount coupon if you have one. Uh, etc. And here you can add special comments on your order if you need to tell me anything. And this is important. Down at the bottom it says terms and conditions. Um, you do need to check this off. Even though this paragraph relates to the contact sampler uh, software, you need to check this off to get through the next page of the website. Uh, that's kind of a long story. I don't want to go through an explanation of why that's there, but just check it off. It's not relevant to EXS uh, libraries at all. So continue to check out. Now we're on page three. And here you can see we have the four parts of the download and you can confirm the order and move on. Okay, and then you'll be brought to PayPal and uh, so on. But I've already downloaded this sample. So what will happen now, if you take a look at my downloads folder, so now in my downloads folder, notice I've got Bluegrass Banjo EXS part one, two, three, and four. These are RAR files. So what you need is you need a utility to extract these four separate files into one file. And the utility that I recommend you use, it's on your screen. It's called RAR Expander. And I really strongly suggest only use this one. There are other Mac utilities that will do it, but I found so many of them to have problems. This one is rock solid, okay? So please use that one. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to extract these four parts into one library using the RAR Expander. Now I've already downloaded and installed the RAR Expander onto my system. So that's something you need to do before you do this process. The key is, among those four banjo parts, we only want to select part one. Do not select all four parts. Don't select part two, three, or four at any point in the process. Only select part one, open it up by double clicking or however you like to open the files. And notice it opens a menu it says where do you want to expand this file to I have this a folder set up ahead of time which is in my Boulder sounds released libraries and I made a folder called Boulder EXS libraries so make a folder on your system that's where it'll, it expand the library to click on the select button and now you see in the upper left hand corner of my screen it is now expanding 
the Bluegrass Banjo Library. So let's fast forward quickly uh, to the expansion. It's just about done. Great, so now that is done. Now, if I go to my folder, where in my system it's sample libraries, and Boulder Release Libraries, and then Boulder EXS Libraries. Here's my expanded file, and it creates a folder within a folder. That throws people off a little bit. So we open up the Bluegrass Banjo EXS. There's another one. We open it up. Okay, so now what do we see? We have a folder called EXS Instruments. That's the key folder we want. Um, don't worry about the roles. That's kind of a special case, but down here at the bottom, is the bluegrass banjo samples. So this is where the samples are located. The instruments are our main concern. So if you open up that folder, you can see all the different bluegrass.exs instruments. We're going to copy all of these into another location. But what we'll do is we'll just drag this one banjo instruments library into that other location. So let's talk about where they go to. So now the text you see on your screen is copied from the logic manual. It shows the path in which we need to copy these EXS instruments into what folder. So notice it says here EXS24 and then this funny symbol that represents your user account on your computer. So that would be different for everybody. Mine simply is the little house symbol with Dennis Burns next to it. We're going to move these EXS instruments into music folder and then a subfolder music audio apps then another subfolder called sampler instruments before we do that let me show you one thing notice in the upper right hand corner of my computer we don't have a hard drive icon i personally like to have the hard drive icon there uh, when you get your computer from apple it's this is not enabled right off the bat but if you want to enable it to get into your hard drive very easily go under finder click preferences and notice right here next to hard disks, if you check that box, you see in the right hand corner of my computer, my hard drive icon has appeared. I just find that much more intuitive. So I'm going to find this sample path on my hard drive. All right, so on the left it says Dennis Burns with the house. That's my user account. I'm going to go to music, open that folder, then to audio music apps, open that. And notice at the bottom it says sampler instruments. I'm going to open that folder and I've already made another folder inside there called Boulder Sounds. So if you have multiple libraries by different developers, you can keep them sorted according to developer. So now what I want to do is I'm going to open that Boulder Sounds folder and I'm going to copy or excuse me, move my EXS instruments to that folder. That's all there is to it. So now it's in the correct directory. Don't worry about moving the samples folder. You can just leave that where it is or put it wherever you want. I suggest you put it wherever you want before you do this process. Um, okay, so now let's launch Logic and see if Logic Sampler plugin will be able to find it. Okay, and we're going to create a new project. And I've chosen Software Instrument, and the software instrument I'm loading in is Sampler. And you can find it right there down in the middle of the menu. And I'm choosing Stereo. So I create that instrument. I'm going to bring this up a little higher. Notice in the upper left of Sampler, it shows a drop down menu which says Factory Default. Click on that. At the bottom, you'll see a folder there. It says Boulder Sounds. In the Boulder Sounds folder is my banjo instruments. And then we have different types of instruments here. Uh, let's just go to banjo, no key switches, and we'll use mapping number one. And now that is loaded. So now, uh, right now I don't have a keyboard hooked to my computer, so I'll use their virtual keyboard here. Under the window menu, I can choose show keyboard and I can play the banjo with my mouse. So that's in a nutshell how you load EXS instruments into Logic, into the sampler plugin in Logic 10.5. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching and take care.